Hello everyone, my name is Bree and today I'm going to take you to a Vinyasa Yoga practice. Within Vinyasa Yoga practice, we aim to move our body synchronized with our breath. So in this class, in this practice, you're going to hear me doing breath cueing and asana cueing a lot throughout the class. Anyway, take it easy with yourself, allow yourself to breathe and enjoy your breath throughout the practice and instead of using your body to get into the posture, but always allow the posture to let you get into your body and allow yourself to get to know your body, allow yourself to be fully present, to be just right here and right now. So let's begin our class today by finding a comfortable seating position. And find yourself sitting upright and let your root chakra connect with the mother earth and your heart open shoulder back and down Break your palm somewhere that you feel comfortable or do any kind of mantra or hand placement that you like to do and keep your back long tucking your chin in to elongate the back lines of your neck allow your whole body to be relaxed and soft and, and softly allow your eye to be closed. Let's take, let take this moment to arise and to check in to your body. Allow yourself to feel your whole body. From the cloud of your head to the tip of your toe, on from the tip of your toe up to the cloud of your head. Take this moment to feel the connection of each and every part of your body. Feel the sensation of your breath. Feels is it light or heavy? If you follow that your breath is quite heavy, so allow your breath to be softened by inhale nice and deep. And exhale long and complete. Allow your inhale to travel deeply into your lower belly. And exhale from your lower belly and slowly flow up throughout your nose. Feel like there is any tension in your heart center or in your breath. Refuse to let go of it by inhale to your nose and exhale. Make side out to your mouth. To let go of what no longer serves you. Let your breath to be connected with your body and allow yourself to be just right here and right now. Allow yourself to travel deep into your emotional and mental state and allow them to be still and find the calmness.
be fully present. Softly open up your eyes, your neck, inhale, raise your hand up, lengthen your spine. Interlock your finger, turn your palm inside out, and walk your palm higher and higher. And shy your ribcage forward, bring your shoulder breath together, and softly shy your chin up to the sky. Feel free to gazing up or keep your eye closed. Keep sending your reach all the way up to the sky and keep your heart open, shoulder breath together. Three more long deep breath here. Neck exhalation, slowly release your both hand down to the side. Inhale, raise your hand up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, slowly twist your body toward the right side. Right hand behind your tailbone, left hand on your right. Inhale, lengthen and heart open. Exhale, slowly twist. You twist from the core, twist from the center of your body. Try not to use your shoulder to twist and turn your head toward your right shoulder. Keep pulling your belly in to support your spine. Three more long conscious breaths to your nose. So make inhalation, let's find yourself, come back to the center. And exhale, let go to the sides again. Uh, Tweet from your center of the body. Tweet from the core of your body. Three more long conscious breath here. Neck inhalation, let's fire yourself, come back to the center. Exhale, release your both hand down to the side and lengthen your legs forward. And flat your toe up, you're gonna go for uh, Bashimottanasana, the forward bending. Keep your leg activated and flat your toe up more and more. Let your toes pointing down, pointing up to the sky. Take some time to rotate your glute or to uh, release the glute, adapt your sitting. Inhale, raise your hand up, lengthen your spine. Exhalation, movement come from your hip and core strong, pull forward. Reach a maximum far, chin toward your chest. If you start to round your back, which is not really healthy for your spine, I highly recommend to bend your knees up and keep your back long and slowly pull forward, chin toward your chest to elongate the back of your neck. Five more long deep breath here. Take some time to feel your body. Feel your breath that connect with the posture with inhale to expand the posture and exhale to falling over into the expansion. Two more long deep breath here to let go of all the tension from the back lines of your body. The leg inhalation, let's slowly come all the way up. And let's change our position to on four points and tabletop, get on your hand and knees. Check your alignment with your reach right underneath your shoulder, your knee underneath your hip, your core very strong, arm strong, aloe and shoulder aloe Spread your finger out wide to get the weight away from your wrist. Cow and cat posture. Start from cow forward, inhale, lift your tempo up, drop your belly down, shake up, shy your ribcage forward, heart open, gazing forward, or gazing up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, round your back, shin to shed, middle back and upper back, all the way up to the sky. Inhale, cow pose, belly down, shake up, shoulder open. Exhale, tailbone in, round your back, chin to shed, extend between your shoulder breath. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cow. Now let's follow your own pace for a few small rounds here. If you feel like to add any freestyle movement, feel free to go ahead for that movement. 
to maybe to let go of what is right or what is wrong for a moment here and listen to your intuition, listen to your body and they're gonna tell you what movement that you are need that. Three more long conscious breath here. One more long deep breath to your nose. It's a neck inhalation. Let's find yourself. Come back to your neutral pose, tabletop position, and tuck your toes under. Prepare for the first downward facing dog of the class. Exhalation. Suck your belly in and slowly. Keep your knee bent. Send your hip all the way up to the sky into downward facing dog. Take some time here to adjust your body. So walking your dog, bending your knees side by side or do any movement that you feel comfortable and natural with. Feel free to circle right your head, move your shoulders, move your hips. Three more long deep breath here. There's a neck inhalation that get on the balls of your feet and keep your weight forward slightly. Brow your back into plank position. From plank option yourself to knee stretching down or just to ranga dandasana down for our first vinyasa transition. Inhale upward facing dog or cobra. Heart open, shoulder open, and shoulder breaths along with your spine getting forward. Exhale downward facing dog. Let's find a stillness in your downward facing dog. Let's find a nice alignment for your downward facing dog here. We spread your finger or wide index or in middle finger pointing forward. Shoulder away from your ear, shin to shed. Get between your feet or toward your navel. Belly in and diaphragm up for Uddiyana Bandha or abdominal lock. And bum in and turn your muscle up for root lock or Mula Bandha. And rotate your inner sides inward to open up your lower back. Feel free to micro bend if you like it. Micro bend your knee if you like it. There's a neck inhalation. Let's bend your knees and look forward in between your hands and take a baby step to walk step by step until you get both feet in between your hands to halfway lift up, flat back. Exhale, full forward, lengthen your back, lengthen your spine. Inhalation, micro bend your knees, support your lower back and root to right back. Exhale, palm down toward your heart center in Samadhi. Now stay with your feet parallel and your hip width apart. And inhalation, raise your hand up, lengthen your spine. At the same time, tuck the tailbone under. Right hand holding your left wrist. Inhalation, lengthen more and more. Exhale, bend your body toward the right side and send your hip to the left side. Shy your ribcage forward, neck long, and guessing where you feel comfortable. And breathe. Three more long deep breath here. So neck inhalation, let's find yourself, come back to the center. Swap your hand, inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, let go to the other side. Keep your neck long, three more long, conscious breath to your nose. Keep your both feet clouded. Neck inhalation, let's fire yourself, come back to the center. Exhale, release your both hand down to the side and lift your shoulder up and down for a few breaths here to let go of all the tension from your shoulder. Uh, let's slowly come back to the center. Fire yourself, stand at the top of the mat in Samadhi Tip Posture with your feet parallel as close as possible. Tailbone checking under, core strong, all bandha and get palm toward your heart and let breathe together. Inhale, nice and deep. Exhale, long and complete. Inhale, deeply. Exhales completely. To 
to your nose for one more long inhale. To your nose for one more long exhale. And let's move together with sun salutation, with moon theory modification. So neck inhalation, keep your whole body strong and reach your hand up, lengthen your spine, gazing up. Exhalation movement, come from your hip full forward, keep your back long. Inhale, halfway, lift up, flat back. Exhale, right foot, far back, knee down. Inhale, moon pose, jump drop, and up your bone, tucking core, strong heart, open, char your ribcage forward, 50 to at your back back. Exhale, half hanumana, and straight, tend your front leg, flex your left toe, movement come from your hip and foot forward. Inhale, bend the front knee, spine straight, and look up. Exhale, left foot back, Chaturanga Dandasana in any variation. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward in between your hands. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale, moon pose, keep shining your ribcage forward, tucking the tailbone under. Exhale, straighten your front leg, flex your right toe up and pull forward. Inhale, bend the front knee, spine straight and look up. Exhale, left foot forward, head down, Uttanasana. Inhale, root to rise up. Exhale, Samadhi. Inhale, reach your hand up, lengthen your spine, gazing up, salute the sun. Exhale, bring the gratitude to the mother earth. Inhale, halfway, lift up, flat back. Exhale, left foot, far back, knee down. Inhale, moon pose, Chandrasana. Exhale, straighten your front leg, full forward. Inhale, bend the front knee, spine straight, look up. Exhale, right foot back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward in between your hands. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, moon pose, core strong, heart open. Exhale, straighten your front leg, full forward. Keep your hips square. Inhale, bend the front knee, spine straight, look up. Exhale, right foot forward, head down. Inhale, root to rise up. Exhale, Samadhi. Second round, inhale, raise your hand up, lengthen your spine and gazing up. Exhale, Uttanasana, full forward. Inhale, halfway, lift up, flat back. Exhale, right foot far back, knee down. Inhale, moon pose, core strong, heart open. Exhale, straighten your front leg, full forward. Inhale, bend the front knee, spine straight, look up. Exhale, left foot back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward in between your hands. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale, moon pose, core strong, heart open. Exhale, straighten your front leg, full forward. Inhale, bend the front knee, spine straight, look up. Exhale, left foot forward, head down. Inhale, root to rise up. Exhale, Samadhi. Last side, inhale, raise your hand up, lengthen your spine and gazing up. Exhale, Uttanasana, keep your back low. Inhale, halfway, lift up, flat back. Exhale, left foot back, knee down. Inhale, Jandrasana. Exhale, half Hanumana. Inhale, bend the front knee, spine straight, look up. 
Exhale, right foot back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward in between your hands. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, moon pose, core strong, heart open. Exhale, straighten your front leg full forward. Inhale, bend the front knee, spine straight, look up. Exhale, right foot forward, head down. Inhale, root to right up. Exhale, Samadhi. And mountain pose, Tadasana, separate your feet at your hip width apart. Micro bend your knees and keep your feet grounded. Keep your core strong and tucking the tailbone under. Shy your ribcage forward. Hanging your arm beside your body, palm facing forward. Softly tucking your chin in and close your eye. Feel the sensation of your breath and your body. After we move one breath for one movement. Take this moment to notice the fire element that's heating up inside your body. Feel free to inhale to your nose and exhale out to your mouth if you like it. Five small, long, deep breath here to normalize your breath, to calm your breath. And let's slowly come back into your body and softly open up your eye and find yourself in samadhi at the top of your mat bringing your feet parallel as close as possible tailbone tucking and the core strong bandha and get palm toward your heart center and let flow together from here to neck inhale raise your hand up lengthen your spine and gazing up exhale movement come from your hip full forward Inhale, halfway, lift up, flat back. Exhale, step, jump, or hop back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward, facing dog, or cobra. Exhale, downward, facing dog. So neck, inhalation, your right leg all the way up to the sky. Exhale, right knee to your right upper arm, engage your core. Inhale, up. Exhale, right knee to your forehead, round your back, chin to chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, right knee to your left elbow, twist your body. Inhale, up. Second round, exhale, right knee to your right upper arm. Inhale, up. Exhale, right knee to your forehead, round your back, chin to chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, right knee to your left elbow and transition to fall and right hold. Left heel down, straighten your right leg forward and send your hip up, arc your back, shy your ribcage forward, lengthen your top arm, your right shoulder elevated, and gazing where you feel comfortable. Let hold here for five, for four more, for three more, for two more, and for one more, exhalation, both hand down, right foot back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, Exhale, downward facing dog. And connect with your breath. So make inhalation, your right leg all the way up to the sky, still on the right side. Exhalation, step your right foot forward in between your hands, soft landing, left toe tap, front leg 90 degree ankle. Inhalation. Slowly, find yourself come up to high lung. Tuck the tailbone and then keep shining your ribcage forward. Gazing forward, up or close your eye. One more long deep breath here. 
So next, exhalation, let's slowly tweak your body toward the right side. At the same time, open up your arm to the shoulder level. Get toward your right shoulder. Keep your whole body activated. One more long deep breath through your nose. So next, inhalation, find yourself, come back to the middle, and enjoy your palm together and your heart center. And keep your weight forward toward your right foot more and more until your left leg light and up to water three. Flex your left toe up, finding your option to stay in the namaste, airplane, backward or forward. Two more long deep breath here. The next exhalation, let gazing down toward the mother earth and lower your right hand down to the mat. Right hand right underneath your shoulder for half moon position. Slowly open up your hip, select your left toe, open up your heart, guessing where you feel come down forward, up or down, then your left hand all the way up to the sky. No way toward your right hand at all, where toward your right foot only, feel free to fight the block or micro when you need to support the balance. The next exhalation, slowly lower your left foot far back and find yourself to slowly come up to water too. Heart open, tucking the tailbone under. Gazing toward your right middle finger. The next exhalation, slightly lean forward, flip your right palm up, then your right palm all the way up to the left palm down to the side in reverse warrior. Keep your heart open, lengthen your top arm more and more, guessing where you feel comfortable or guessing up. One more long deep breath here. The so next exhalation, keep your core strong, palm toward your heart center, and drop your hip down toward the left side into lateral lung. Core strong, use your core. The so next inhalation, slowly lift your body up. Exhale, go to the right side. Inhale up, exhale left, inhale up, exhale right, inhale up, exhale left, inhale up, exhale right. One more time here, inhale up, exhale left, and stay in the lateral lung, feel free to find the modified modification that suits your practice. With both hands down to the mat, or, and heart open, gazing forward or palm toward your heart center and use your left elbow to put the knee out to the side or bow your hand behind your back, wrap your knee, keep your heart open or go for the gate port, use your right hand to holding your left ankle and twist your body toward the right side, toward the left side and extend your top arm over your ears and grab your right foot and rotate your left shoulder up to the sky. Let's hold here for five. For four more, breathe. For three more. For two more. And for one more. So neck inhalation, let's slowly release. Both palms support your body, activate your core, lift your hip up, walk your body toward the right side. At the same time, tuck your left toe under and square your hip and close your hip, walk your right foot to the edge of the mat. We're gonna go for a variation of lizard posture. Press your, both, press your both hand inside your right foot. And option one, release your left knee down, point your left toe back and stay here. Option two, full forward. If you start to row your back, it's not really cool for your spine. I highly recommend to find a block or pillow or anything to support your forearm. Or option three, tuck your left toe under and lift your left knee up. Any variation that you are doing, keep your core strong, your legs strong. Use the muscle to support your joint for three more long deep breaths here. Feel your body. One more long deep breath to your nose. The next exhalation is slowly release your left knee down, get on your both hand. And pigeon pose, walk your right foot toward the left side. 
with your chin bone flat down to the mat, flex your right toe up to support your knee and send your left leg all the way back. Keep your hips square or find a block of pillow support. Inhalation, lengthen your spine, heart open. Exhale movement, come from your hip and slowly pull forward. Reach the maximum far and chin toward your chest. Three more long deep breaths to your nose. The next inhalation, walk your palm, support your upper body to come up. Get on your left knee and straighten your right leg forward into the practice of Hanuman Nasana. Make sure that your hip completely square and pointing forward. You're not going to twist your body up to any side. And check your alignment with your left knee right underneath your hip and your core strong. Inhalation, lengthen your spine. Exhale, add the bandha. Then movement come from your hip and slowly pull forward. Refuse to raise your hand on the chin bone or on the block or on the mat here and keep flexing your right toe up more and more feel free to stay here for today's practice or if you would like to go for Hanuman Nasana then slowly activate your whole body and send your right leg forward more until you reach the maximum far you start to round your back and slightly take a little step back and keep your back long and core strong subdivide in or find a block support and stay with your body up to the sky or if you reach the full split today let's find the option that suit your body suit your practice to stay up or pull forward or any deeper variation for five more long deep breath here let's breathe inhale deeply and exhale completely one more long deep breath here the next inhalation to release create your palm firmly to the mat tuck your left toe under lift your hip up and slowly step back downward facing dog Inhale, lash and keep your weight forward into plank position. From plank knee, shake chin down, just to ranga danda sana down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. As in neck, inhale, lash and one more time, keep your weight forward into plank position. From plank, gonna go for side plank with your right hand as the best. So walk your right hand to the center, rotate your right heel down and find option to suit your practice with your right knee down for option one hip open heart open option two straighten your both leg option three one leg up maybe in three pot or option four hook the left big toe with four middle finger and send your left leg all the way up to the sky guessing where you feel comfortable let hold here for three more for two more and for one more exhalation let's slowly release and Jaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So next exhalation, child pose. Raise your whole body. Bring your big toe to touch, sitting on your heel and pull forward. Repeat to widen your knee. Feel the difference between the left and the right side. Three more long deep breath here.
to make inhalation let by yourself get back on your hand and knee and tuck your toe under send your hip all the way up into downward facing dog and activate your whole body to make inhalation your left leg all the way up to the sky exhalation left knee to the left upper arm and get your core one inhale up exhale left knee to your forehead round your back shin to shirt inhale up exhale left knee right elbow inhale up second round exhale left knee left upper arm inhale up exhale left knee to your forehead round your back shin to keep sucking your belly in inhale up Exhale, left knee, right elbow, and fold and drag your right heel down, left leg forward. Straighten your both leg and send your hip up, up your back, shy your ribcage up to the sky, lengthen your top arm, let go here for five, for four more, for three more, for two more, and for one more. Exhalation, both hand down to the mat, left foot back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. To neck inhalation, your left leg all the way up to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot forward in between your hands, soft landing. Right toe tap, tucking the tailbone under. Inhalation, finding your high lung. And breathe. Three more long deep breath here. To neck exhalation, suck your belly in slowly, tweak your body toward the right side. So reach toward the left side and heart open, suck your belly in, core strong. Get toward your left shoulder. To neck inhalation, let fire yourself, come back to the center palm toward your heart center and shift your weight toward your left foot more and more. Then your right leg light and up. To water tree. Option your palm to be namaste, airplane backward or forward. Three more long deep breath here. To neck exhalation, lower your left hand down toward the mother, right underneath your shoulder. Hip completely open, heart completely open. Flex your right toe and right hand all the way up to the sky. Guessing where you feel comfortable into a half moon position. The so neck exhalation, bend your left knee, support the balance and right foot lower far back. Come back up to water two. Keep your core very strong, get toward your left middle finger, tucking the tailbone under. Heart open, suck your belly in. Exhalation, slowly lean forward toward the left side. Left hand flip up to the sky, right hand down to the side. Reverse warrior. One more long deep breath here. The so neck inhalation, fire yourself, come back to the, center, to the center, palm toward your heart center, and inhale deep and long. Exhale, drop your hip down toward the right side. Inhale up, exhale left. Inhale up, exhale right. Inhale up, exhale left. Inhale up, core very strong. Exhale right. Inhale up, exhale left. One more time. Inhale up, exhale right. And palm toward your heart center, or palm down toward the mother earth, or bow your hand behind your back, wrap your knee. Or go for gate port, left hand holding your right ankle, tweet your body up toward the right side. Extend your top arm behind you, grab your left foot and rotate your right shoulder up to the sky. Keep your core very strong, let hold here for five, for four more, for three more, for two more, and for one more. Neck inhalation and slowly release. Both hand down toward the mother earth. Lift your hip up. Walk your body toward the left side. Tuck your right toe under. Close your hip. Walk your left foot to the edge of the mat and find the option that suits your practice. With your right knee down, 
or full forward or tuck your right toe under and lift your right knee up. Make sure that your left knee doesn't go beyond the ankle and fight more long deep breath here. One more long deep breath to your nose. The next exhalation is release your right knee down, point your right toe back and get on your both hand. Walk your left foot toward the right side into peak and pose. Send your right leg all the way back. Inhalation, adjust your hip until your hips square. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, movement come from your hip full forward. Reach the maximum far, keep your neck long and breathe. Five more long deep breath here. One more long deep breath to your nose. The next inhalation, walk your palms, support your upper body to come up. Get on your right knee and straighten your left leg forward into half Hanumanasana. As you can check your alignment with your hip completely square and pointing completely forward. And right knee right underneath the hip. Inhalation, lengthen your spine, exhale at the bandha and keep your core strong, movement come from your hip and neck, exhalation, full forward. Reach the maximum far, stay here, or keep sending your left leg forward until you reach the maximum far of your Hanuman Nasana practice. Feel free to five block pillow support underneath your hip and keep your hip completely square. Find yourself stay up or full forward if you read the full Hanuman Nasana for five more long deep breath here. Breathe, inhale deeply, exhale completely. To your nose for one more long deep breath. The next inhalation, walk your palms, support your upper body to come up. Put your palm firmly to the mat, tuck your right toe under, lift your hip up and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift your weight forward into plank position from plank to Ranga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhalation, shift your weight forward into plank pose for one more time and from plank you're gonna go for side plank. Left hand at the bed and turn your right hip up. Find the option that suits you. Left knee down, straighten your both leg. One leg up or hook the right big toe with four middle finger and straighten your right leg up to the sky. Let hold here for three more, for two more, and for one more. Exhalation, let's slowly release Jaturanga Dandasana. Mm -hmm. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. To make exhalation, child put. Relax your whole body. Relax your breath. Now it's time to compliment yourself for the flow, to express the love to your body. Three more long deep breath here. The 
neck inhalation let walk your palms support your upper body to come up and find yourself in sitting position and let lengthen your leg forward gonna go for spinal twist bending your right knee up and option one stay here with flexing your left toe up to the sky option two is crossing your right leg over your left leg option three is bend your left knees as well Op uh, make sure if you go for option three you can keep your both sitting bone on the mat um, not sitting bone but both your butt on the mat and keep your core strong inhale reach your hand up lengthen your spine exhale let's slowly twist toward the right side right hand behind your elbow left hand on left elbow outside your right knee inhale lengthen your spine and heart open and exhale suck your belly in slowly twist turn your head toward your right shoulder if you have bound your practice feel free to go ahead three more long deep breath here So neck inhalation let's slowly release and come back to the center and wrap your leg and let's swap to the other side do the same variation with the other side that you just did rotate your glute out inhale raise your hand up lengthen your spine exhale slowly use your core to twist your body toward the left side left hand behind your bone right elbow outside your left knee inhale lengthen and heart open and exhale let's slowly twist Turn your head toward your left shoulder. Three more long deep breaths to your nose. Know. Tonight inhalation let's find yourself come back to the center and lengthen your leg forward let's shake your leg drop your knees up and down and then use your hand to support your knee and open up your leg to the maximum far flex your toe up activate your whole body and if you start to round your back, I highly recommend to find a pillow or you can also roll a towel to support underneath your sitting to keep your back lengthened and get the sitting bone pointing down toward the mother earth. Inhalation, lengthen your spine here. Keep flexing your toe up, keep your core very strong. Exhale, movement come from your hip and slowly fall forward. Feel free to walk your palm to support your upper body. Reach the maximum far and chin toward your chest. Two more long deep breath here. As a neck inhalation, let walk your palms support your upper body to come up. Hands support your knees and bring your leg together. Bend your knee up, separate your feet like at your hip width apart use your palms support your body and drop your knee down side to side one more round here and let's find yourself come back to the center and lie down on your back Activate your whole body. Are we gonna go for our inversion practice today? We're gonna be shoulder stand chaturanga. Use your arms support your body. Just make sure that you don't have any uh, symptom for your neck pain or shoulder pain. If you have those of symptom, those symptoms feel free to fight a block support underneath your hip and stay with your leg up to the sky, you're totally the same with it at the shoulder stand. If your shoulder stand available today, call strong. Activate your whole body and support your body. Bend your knee up or straight, tend your leg up and slowly send your hip all the way up. Use your hand, support your lower back, make an external rotation of your shoulder. 
and then slowly send your hip forward, straighten your leg up to the sky. Keep your core strong and breathe. From here, you may transition to Halasana Pro Pose. Let's straighten your both legs over your head and keep your core strong. Feel free to use your hands, support your lower back still, or interlace your fingers together. Or go for Pada Hatha Halasana, walking your palm toward your feet and use your middle index finger point, uh, hooking the big toe. And to release, use your arms, support your body, and then vertebra by vertebra, slowly release your back down toward the mother earth. Then counter pose, which pitch pose, Matsyasana, spread your hand underneath the glute, and get on your forearm and the elbow. Toes pointing forward. Suck your belly in, shy your ribcage forward, heart open. Then clap your head down toward the mother earth. Three more long deep breaths here. The neck inhalation to release, lengthen your neck, chin up toward your chest, and slowly release your body down. Release your hand, release your shoulder. And open up your arm like a T-junction posture, palm facing up. Bend your right knee up toward your shirt. Left hand gently put your right knee down toward the left side. You tweet from the core to the center, uh, from the center of your body, and turn your head toward your right shoulder. Make sure that your both shoulders are on the mat. If you have any favorite spinal tip variation, feel free to go ahead for it. And let's start to relax your whole body down to suit your body. Three more long conscious breaths to your nose. The neck inhalation as far as yourself come back to the center. Release and relax your valley. I let go to the other side, bending your left knee up toward your shirt, arm at the T-junction posture. Right hand gently put your left knee down toward the right side. Again, to it from the center of your body. Turn your head toward your left shoulder. More long conscious breath here. As a neck inhalation, slowly come back to the center and bend your both knee up toward your shirt. And happy baby pot, uh, hook the big toe with four middle finger or cap your feet from the outer edge and open up your leg to the side. Start to bring your knee toward the armpit or toward the mother earth. Repeat to stay in the center or rock your body side to side. Feel a nice massage toward your middle back. Slowly, find yourself, come back to the center, 
bend your knees together then hug your knees towards your chest give your knees a big hug and feel free to stay here or gentle rock your body side to side get a nice massage for your lower back By yourself, come back to the center for uh, for Pawan Mukhasana. Lift your forehead up toward your knee and chin toward your chest, and let hold here for three more. For two more, and for one more. So make exhalation. Let slowly release your whole body down into the heart of the Mother Earth, into Shavasana. Soften your whole body, palm facing up beside your body. Soften your toe. Relax your whole body. Take your time here to enjoy the stillness. And start to move your body, moving your toes, touching your fingertips with your thumb. Stretch your whole body by reaching your hand far over your head, your legs together and toes pointing. Bend your knees together, feel free to roll over to any side that you feel comfortable. When you are ready, let's find yourself come back to sitting position. A 
just feel the sensation of your breath and your body for one more time after your practice. Now let's draw your palm together at your heart center in prayer pose. Thank you so much. Take this moment to honor yourself for the practice. Say thank you to your body, to your breath. And thank you so much for today. If you like the practice, feel free to hit the subscribe or give a thumbs up or follow me on Instagram at Yoga with Breeze or Amoy Yoga of Thailand. And see you again next time. Thank you, everyone.